first team in place of Patrick all throughout fall camp. How have you come along, do you think? How's it been for you? Uh, I've, I've improved a lot. Um, just thanks to my teammate, my coach, just holding me to, to a higher standard. And uh, I'm holding myself to a higher standard. And running with the ones, I have a feel for me. Me and the uh, right tackle and me and the center, we work well together. So it feels like that's where I'm supposed to be. Where do you feel like you need to improve? I mean, in all areas. I mean, you know, you can't you can't lack in anything. But as I was talking to coach, you just try to improve on something every day. So maybe it's my hands one day, maybe it's my footwork, maybe it's pad level. But I feel like you know, improvement improvement should be done in all areas. How's your conditioning coming? Ah, it's coming great. It's coming great. Uh, I feel like I'm in way better shape than I was last year. And uh, then again, I would like to thank you know. Coach Jackson and his staff for that. Uh, and then again, thank my my teammates, you know, that's to my left and to my right. Thank Coach Lou. And, you know, like I said, they're holding me to a higher standard and I have to perform. Do you feel like you've gained a lot on Patrick in this competition? Y'all were kind of close there at the beginning. Um, I feel like maybe I have, but only due to the fact that I'm getting reps, you know, while he's out recovering. But uh, I know, you know, when he get back, it's going to be a competition and, uh, and I'm ready to compete. And like I said earlier, I feel like, you know, that, that, that the starting right guard is, is where I want to be and where I need to be. How special would it be if that opening game is Aaron and left guard and you and right guard? Uh, it'd, be, it'd be a dream come true. I mean, like exactly. some nights, you know, I just I lay in the bed and I think about it. And I mean, I mean, I want it so bad. Like it, just thinking about me even just playing at this level and starting at this level with all the people that, that you know, like saw me grow up and saw me improve, you know, people that, that, that have died in my family and it brings me to tears, I'm gonna be honest, but it'll be tears of joy definitely. Was there ever a point you thought that wouldn't happen? Did you ever think that, you know, that, that dream wasn't gonna come true? I mean, uh probably, you know, the red shirt year I, I got kinda down, you know, a little a little sad, but but at the end of the day, me being red shirt is the best thing that can happen to me. I mean, it's nothing to complain about and and now that I realize that and how I progressed and and at the end of the day, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to play at first. You know, there's some things I had to get better on about being top heavy and stuff. And Coach Luke and, and, and you know, my teammates, we talk to him about that. We talk, we talk about each other about that. And, and I feel like, like I said, I feel like my dreams are coming true, you know, at this level. And like I said, they hold me to a higher standard I have to perform. How much better can you guys be up front this year after having played so many snaps together last season? It was six or seven of you guys that, you know, played the ball coming. Well, I feel like uh, probably, I mean, much better at the end of the day. I mean, you can't really put a put a number on it. Like I said, we're, we're, we're getting a lot of reps together. So at the end of the day, we're, we have a feel for one each other, you know, like the way we play. And uh, like, I know I don't have to kick so far because I, cause I know Evan, you know what I'm saying? He, he has my help on the inside or, or Pierce going to be right there for me. You know what I mean? So like I said, just getting reps together and, and just Coach Luke, you know, helping us build, you know, team camaraderie. Yeah, uh, things like that. I mean, we're going to be a lot better.